Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can free up a little bit of space on your Mac's hard drive or solid state drive. It's definitely time for me to do this because I have just a little bit over 2 gigabytes free on my solid state drive. Now there are a few obvious ways that you can free up some space, like deleting duplicates in iPhoto, cleaning up unwanted files on your desktop, or cleaning out your downloads folder from files that you don't want. But there are also some more hidden files that you probably don't want either. If you click on your finder window, and get that up, then you can press go and click the option key on your keyboard and you'll see the option here for library that wasn't there before. You press on that and you can go to mail downloads and here you might have a lot of files that you don't really want anymore. For example, if you opened up a picture that somebody sent you in mail in OS 10, then that file automatically went to mail downloads whether you wanted to or not, even if you were just viewing it. So you can clear out this, and I don't want any of the files here, so I'm going to press Command A for all of them and drag them all to the trash bin. Now I did this not too long ago, so I don't have too many files here, but they can build up over time. Now from the same library window, you can click on Application Support, then click on Mobile Sync, and click on Backup. And in here is where your iPad, iPhone, and iPod backups are stored. Um, the files don't make any sense if you open them up. If you try to open any of these files, it just opens text edit. So don't even bother with that. Um, these files can build up over time, and you probably don't need most of them. You probably just want to go ahead and delete all of them, and then just resync the devices that you're normally syncing with your computer, and let them each put just one backup back into this folder. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the one that I have here. I actually cleared these out a few days ago, so all I had was one. Now the next thing that I'm going to show you is an application that I have right here called iBoostUp. I believe it's free on the Mac App Store and it can do many things for your system but one of the things that it can do is clean up your drive. So when you're in iBoostUp, if you click on Quick Clean, then it'll show you what it's going to do. It cleans system caches, system logs, so for example your computer remembers every time it opens an application, every time it boots up, and that's really not very important information, and this will clear it all out. You can see the last time I did it was a little bit over a month ago, so I'll go ahead and let it scan. So it found over 1,800 items that it wants to delete, 451 megabytes, and I'm going to go ahead and let it clean the files. Now right now I have some web browsers open, and it wants to delete cookies and stuff from the web browsers. I'm going to say ignore this right now because I don't want to close the web browsers and I don't necessarily want to be logged out of all the sites that I'm logged into. So now it's done and it says it saved me 448 megabytes and I'm going to click OK and that's done. So now in less than five minutes I've gone from a little bit over two gigabytes to over eight and a half gigabytes free on my solid state drive. Now yeah six and a half gigabytes isn't that much but I've also done everything that I just did on this computer pretty recently so there wasn't that much to clear out. The uh, mobile device backups are some of the biggest things and they can take up a lot of space like one time I think the first time that I did it I cleared out about 30 or 35 gigabytes and that's pretty decent. But even though I didn't clear out that much on my drive this time it is a lot healthier for it to have eight and a half gigabytes free out of the 60 gigabyte drive than two gigabytes. So that's it for this video I hope this has been helpful for everyone and thanks for watching.